so nbms has released a circular regarding the dates of the examination and surprisingly they have not said anything about the neat pg 2026 exam now that's a bummer i think a lot of students were hoping that we will get a date and uh, we would be able to plan our preparation accordingly but i i see uh, silver linings in this uh, announcement uh, as far as i'm concerned uh, the reason being that they have given the dates till june june end right and they have announced the date of fmg examination so one fair guess would be that probably the exam is not going to happen till june end at least maybe we'll have it in july maybe mid july maybe later but at least we can be fairly certain that the exam is not going to happen till june end and that opens up a huge opportunity for all of you i know for sure that many of you must be struggling with the studies at this point of time when we are in the middle of the year this question always comes in the mind that is it even practical to prepare for an entrance examination starting now you you keep on thinking about the fact that a couple of months are left only and others must have been studying from the day one is it even worth it to start preparing for the exam now and now that we know at least the exam is uh, six months away the answer to the question is it practical to start preparing is a resounding yes it makes complete sense it is completely practical it is completely achievable to get a good rank in itpg examination of 2026 even if you are starting today why we have a good number of days left we have got six months left and students as far as the entrance exam are concerned linear preparation never happens you must have heard these stories that you know one senior of yours started preparation very late and studied only for two months and got a great rank this happens because entrance examination nobody has a linear preparation by linear preparation what i mean is nobody is able to put the same amount of effort for the entire year there are students who start very nicely but they burn out somewhere in the middle the preparation fizzles out there are students who do well in bits and pieces they study well and then they lose the track and you know get distracted and then there are students who start late but they accelerate so nicely in the end that just before the examination their their information the fund of information and the knowledge is at its peak and they end up doing very well that is the opportunity for you if you start studying today in six months not only can you complete the entire course but you can also revise it well at least twice or thrice and create and create a good rank for yourself so this is your sign if you were still confused how to go about it and whether to go about it or not i am telling you that start preparation enough time is left if you use these months properly you will crack the examination how to go about it now another thing that i am noticing nowadays is students start with very hyper dense course and you know courses which are very short and then they are not able to understand anything they get you know sad and demotivated and give it up don't do that start with either mission classes if you have time or at least rapid revision videos so when you start with rapid revision videos or mission classes what happens is you might take eight hours or ten hours to complete one subject but then you know that subject when you know the subject when you start doing mcqs you realize that you are getting your questions correct and that gives the confidence entrance examination is all about getting into that cycle of positive reinforcement haven't you experienced it yourself on days when you study for 10 hours when you end the day after studying 10 hours how do you feel when you go to bed you carry that feeling of satisfaction that i did what i was supposed to do compared to that when you spend time watching netflix and you know scrolling nonsensically on instagram or youtube well, how do you feel when you go to bed you feel guilty you feel bad you feel irritated so this is the positive reinforcement cycle when you study you feel good about it next day you want to study more this is a cycle that we want to get into thus the parallel is you start with one subject you complete that subject it may take 5 hours it may take 8 hours it may take 10 hours after that you do mcqs or pyqs you see that you are able to solve 70 or 80 percent of the questions you feel better about it you revise it and then you go to the next subject this is a cycle that you have to develop and if you have been struggling with starting my simple advice is start with a shorter subject start with psychiatry watch my rapid revision videos watch my mission videos if you have time rapid revision video would be like five and five hour uh, mission video would be like 10 11 hour 
I can tell you with a lot of certainty that once you are done with rapid revision video or machine video of psychiatry, you would be able to solve 70 to 80 percent of the questions and then do it and then go to the next subject. Right. So this is what you have to do. You have to start somewhere. It's not going to happen that one fine day you will get up in the morning with the exactly perfect frame of mind and things would fall in place. That never happens. Entrance exam preparation is full of ups and downs. There would be days when you would study well. There would be days when you would struggle. The, the important thing that we need to do is we need to persevere. And also we need to remember that there would be bad days. See, if, if you are not able to study for a day or two, do not get frustrated and give everything away or do not give up on everything. Do not give up on your preparation. Bad days are a part and parcel of a preparation. They would come and go. All you have to ensure is that out of the 10 days, you study for at least nine days. Study for six hours, study for eight hours, study for 10 hours. If you're an intern, lesser. If you're a post intern without a job, more. But the, gradually the momentum will start building up. So this is my plan, simple plan for you. I will also make a detailed video about the strategy. But the simple plan is start with the subject, watch the rapid revision videos or the mission classes, do the questions, PYQs and do at least one END. END is test and discussion. After completing a subject, go to the test section, choose the subject that you just read and do the END on the top. That will tell you how to solve MCQs, that will boost your confidence and that will take your preparation further. So students, I, I keep talking about, you know, my story, how I cracked the exam in 40 days only. And some of you must be aware of it. Uh, a, a little uh, recapitulation. Uh, I went to US for USMLE and I came back around uh, December end to India. And my exam was in the first week of February. I had exact 40 days. And I also got that thought that, see, everybody is studying for one year. I mean, it's not possible for me to compete with them. But I started studying. And after a day or two, I got into that, that momentum. And then I studied like crazy. I mean, as a psychiatrist, I don't want to use the word crazy. But that is the term that, you know, actually captures what really happened. I forgot everything else in the world. I forgot which friend is getting married. I start, stopped taking calls. I even told my parents that don't call me. I will call you myself when I get time. And I followed a very strict discipline. I would study for one hour, listen to two songs to, you know, kind of take a good break, go back to study and have a very disciplined 30 minute lunch break, 30 minute dinner break. And students, during those 40 days, I realized something about myself that I was not never even aware of. I always thought of myself as a person who can clock 8 hours, 9 hours, 10 hours at max. I never knew that I could study for 14 hours a day. But during those 40 days, I did. I discovered something about myself when the times were tough and when a super effort was required. I want you guys to do the same thing. You are a couple of months away from the examination. Today, you may think that I cannot study this much, I cannot achieve this much. But believe you me, when you start doing things, things start falling in place. When you, when, you, when you start craving for that feeling of satisfaction while going to bed that you use the day properly, things start to change. And this is what you have to do. Forget about whatever has happened in 2025. It doesn't matter. Today, it doesn't matter at all. What matters is how are you going to use the remaining or the next 180 days. If you can use them to the best of your capability, take it from me that six months from today, you would be sending a message to me or some other faculty that, sir, I got this in this rank and very happy. And we would be asking for your interviews. If you want to see that day, you'll have to start working today. And have that stupid faith in yourself. Have that belief that no matter what hap happens, things will happen. Things will fall in place. And start working. And you'll get the result. May God bless you all.